All right, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So we have this problem from chapter three of the textbook here, which is asking us if the mass of cylinder C is 40 kilos, determine the mass of cylinder A in order to hold the assembly in the position shown. So I've kind of pre-drawn a bit of our free body diagram here. Um, there's a couple of things to kind of grasp with this problem, I suppose. Um, first of all, this, this idea of this 40 kilo cylinder here, basically the weight of this um, cylinder is carried over in the kind of tension of this rope here into um, this, this rope EB here. So we could describe this force here as 40 G since it's 40 kilos. Um, uh, we have tension in rope uh, ED, I suppose here. I'm not sure what to call it let's just call it T for T for tension and um, uh, we have the mass of this cylinder A which we're looking for um, let's just call it M subscript A uh, G um, M subscript A for, for mass of the cylinder A okay looks like we have everything we need in our free body diagram here let's go ahead and solve so we're trying to determine um, M A here. Now, my re my suggestion here would be to resolve vertically. The reason being is because when we consider what's acting up and what's acting down, well, we've got M A G acting down, and we've got a known value acting up. Uh, that's forty G, um, or at least the vertical component of that forty G force there. So let's resolve vertically. Uh, we're saying here what's going up is equal to what's going down. So uh, what's going up. We've got the vertical component of our 40G force there going up and going down, we've got MAG, okay. Um, now, we can cancel Gs on both sides. We note then that MA is equal to 40 sine 30, which when we bung into our calculator gives us a value of uh, 20. So we're going to say, therefore, MA is equal to 20 kilograms, okay. Very simple problem there. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.